What's up, bitches? Yeah, got a review for you, bitfuckers, today. Wismec RX 200S. In black and cyan, absolutely fucking beautiful mod. I know you've got a newer one out now, and this one's old for review, but ah, shit happens. I'm gonna trip them. Some of this uh, just jam, fucking beautiful stuff. Love it. But yeah, so yeah, today we've got the uh, Wismec RX 200S uh, review for you. It's uh, manufactured by Wismec, designed by Jable. It's beautiful. My favourite mod to date, by far. Uh, I'm probably going to go getting another few in. I'm going to be getting the RX2-3 in as well, which is in the UK now. So yeah, I'm going to be getting that in, put that up for review as soon as, as, soon as I get it for a first look. And then I'll get the uh, full review up a week or so later. But, um, but yeah, what we'll do is we'll dive down, take a close personal look at this fucking beauty. And uh, then we'll come back up, give you my thoughts. Tell you if I'd go out and buy another one. Just told you, but anyway... <laughs> And uh, yeah, we'll get it from there. See you bitches in a bit. Uh, what's up bitches? So, there we are, up close personal time with the RX 200S. Absolutely beautiful mod. So, as we go on the front, you have the Wismec logo, RX 200S, and then underneath, you got a little bit more details about it. So go to the side, got our website. We got some more of that, and some more. And again, the same on the other side. On the back, you got a little bit of information about the device, what color this one is. This one is the black and cyan. And then you got keep out of reach of children. Standard configuration includes uh, one RX 200S in brackets, no cells. USB cable, user manual and warranty card. Then you've got where it's all designed and all that jazz at the bottom. You've got a scratch and sniff. And that's about it for the packaging. Let's get inside. Then you've got the beautiful mod. That's it. Put you to one side a minute. So in here you've got a uh, battery warning. You have a, a user manual, which is a pretty decent user manual. I highly recommend it to, to read that if you're new. Uh, underneath there you have the USB cable recommend using that exact USB cable for the mod once you do when you're doing your upgrades I am um, it does support um, USB charging I don't recommend it I recommend taking the cells out of the mod and charging them that way but there you go that's the mod and that's the box sorry and there's your mod beautiful colors a bit juice on it More fucking juice. <laughs> so underneath you've got your air holes. You've got four vent holes there. Uh, with multiple holes in each one. You've got Rillo RX200. Designed and man designed by Jable. Manufactured by Wismec. You've got nice clicky buttons. USB port. Some more air, air, air vents on this side. And again on that side. Nice uh, 510 pin. I've not had any problems with mine. And take a There's the battery to add. Put some batteries in. It's really clearly marked. Negative up, negative up, and then plus up. So you just put the batteries in. Uh, batteries I'm using are Samsung 25R. They're rewrapped by myself. Well, by my wife. The batteries in. And there you go. So, to navigate through, I'm on wattage mode at the moment. Three clicks, and then your wat rebel wattage is there. It's flashing, you click the left button, it takes you down to your amperage, and then you click your right button, you can change it from amps to puffs, 
um, how long you've been using it for, back to amperage. So left button again takes you up to battery and you can choose between percentage or battery bar. And again takes you back to variable wattage. Now to change it from variable wattage to temperature control you just let's do that, three clicks and then right. Now you're in temperature control nickel, titanium, stainless steel and then you've got memory one and then back to variable wattage. So there's that, yeah, you've got some quick shorts which are hold the fire button and the left button together. Stealth mode on, and again, stealth mode off. Uh, the fire button and the, the right button don't do nothing, uh, but if you hold down the left and the right button together, that does a key lock, and key lock off. So it goes from one watt all the way up to 200 watts, but on the upgrade it takes you to 250 watts, which I haven't upgraded it yet. See, no need to upgrade it at the moment. I'll probably do that again in a bit, maybe do a video on that one. So I'll take it back down to 85 watts. Key lock. And done. Um, problem with this I'm having is I've got a 24mm RDA sitting on top but if you can see it's taking the paint off of the top of the RX200 the atomizer is sitting flush and it's just taking the paint off but there you go get onto that when we get up top and uh, yeah see you up top guys There you have it, Wismec RX200S. Review up close and personal. Fucking absolutely beautiful. Loving the colours on this one as well. I didn't know what I was going to think about it when I first ordered it. Like, I was really weary on what it would look like, but no, I love it. I tried to go a bit matchy matchy with the blue drip tip on the Nalu, but it's a different colour and it just doesn't matter. <laughs> but no, it's absolutely stunning. Love the mod. Hits first time, like, the moment you push the button, it's firing. Beautiful. Absolutely beautiful. Now, pros and cons. Start with cons, shall we? Um, I wouldn't say this is a con for the mod, but with re-wrapped batteries, like it doesn't sit, the battery door doesn't sit flush with it, there's gaps either side. But if I put three batteries in it that are new batteries, etc. You know, they're not rewrapped, there it sits flush. So I wouldn't go for a, uh, a con for the mod as such, but yeah, just to let you know if you rewrap your battery, certain rewraps are gonna give you a bit of bit of play with that door. Um, other cons, I would say the top. Just around the 510 pin, any atomizer that I'm putting on there is, is touching flush, but it's scratching the paint off just around it. It, it looks fine with the, the RDA already on there, but once you take that RDA off, like you've seen in the up close, it's, it's got scrapes around it, some of the paint's being taken off. So, yeah. I think a little bit of a raised 510 pin would have been better, but other than that, I've got no issues with it at all. I'm not having any problems with my 510. Um, it's been working fine for me. Tried it with a few atomizers, um, the TFV8, the Nalu, the Tsunami, the Dark Horse, the Indestructible, a few atomizers and they're all working fine on there. I'm having no problems. They're all sitting flush or so. So that is the only con I would say for the device. Pros, it's fucking beautiful looking, lovely to hold, fits firmly in your, in your hand. It's good for fun firing, you can fun fire it nice and comfortably, and finger firing. I prefer the finger fire, but you know, each everyone's each to their own. Fuck, this door is getting up in there. Um, other car, well, like I say, no more cons, pros though, it's fucking beautiful. It, every other mod I've used at 85 watts doesn't feel like 85 watts. I'm vaping this, it's a 0.4 ohm coil at 85 watts and it feels like I'm vaping at 85 watts. Um, it's, it's just beautiful, absolutely stunning. 
best mod I've got to date. Love it. So yeah, <laughs> there's me pros on it. Just the mod is the one big pro. Um, if I lost it, I would go out as soon as I could to buy another one. Um, I'm going to be getting another one in. I'm, I'm wanting a couple of these at least. Um, I don't know what colour I'll go for next. Maybe the red and black. I don't know. We'll figure that out when I get it. Um, but yeah, you'll see that in my reviews and in my um, live shows and everything like that as well. So, yeah. There's your RX200 review. Absolutely fucking stunning. Love it. Constantly in my hand, day to day. I don't put it down. There you go, bitches. Got my fair, my, you've had my first look. Now you've got my review of the RX200. Stay tuned on my channel. There will be a review, full review coming up for the Nalu RDA, as well as a juice review for Just Jam and uh, a few other juice reviews as well. I'm going to get one of them up today as well, I think. So, um, yeah, you bitches, stay cool. Stay off them stinky sticks. Keep on vaping. See you in the next one.